Hello, this is Mary with Mango Math, and I'm here with Millie to give a lesson tutorial out of our problem solving kit. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all things Mango Math. Roundup is a game in which we do exactly that. We round numbers, and sometimes we're going to have to round up to the highest, uh, nearest tenths place. So to play this game, students will draw two cards, and in this case, they drew a 27. Now for our younger kindergartners, they might just only be looking for 27 and having them find 27 on the board and circling it. That might be all that they're capable of doing, which is fine. For our first graders, we want them to look at 27 and say, what is it closer to? Is it closer to this 30 or is it going to be closer to this 20? And they can count the spaces and see that 27 is closer to 30. So we're gonna round up to 30 because it's closer to that. So they'll keep a score where they're gonna have 30 written down. Now they can also move these numbers around so that they have 72. And they can determine, oh, is 72 closer to 70 or to 80? And I don't have 80 showing here, but closer to 70, 80, it's going to be closer to 70. So they could have had a score of 70 on that. So they can write either one of those scores down or both those scores if they were working on trying to get to the highest point value being that we're trying to get, let's say, to 500 as the top score. So the next person goes and they get a three and a five. So they're now looking at, at 35 and they can circle that on the board and then they have to determine if this is closer to 30 or to 40. And in this case, they're going to recognize that it's directly in the middle. So then we talk that 35 will always round up. It'll always take the bigger number. So in this case, that player would then have a score of 40 on their route to trying to get to the highest score. Then they could use the reverse of that and change these numbers. and have a 53 and they can circle the 53 and determine if it's closer to 50 or to 60 and they'll see that it's closer to 50 so they'll have a score of 40 and 50 on their opportunity to try to get to 500. So students will keep score, they will draw two cards, they can put them in whatever order they want to and use both cards if they want to or you can start with the young kids just using one card and using a smaller value let's say a hundred that they have to get to or maybe 200. So it's a game in which we're just continually rounding and having fun doing it. Thank you for checking out our video and seeing how to play these great Mango Math games. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more Mango content and check out our website at www.mangomath.com.